referee calling for him and there you go the fact that he's actually calling him to the center means he will be sanctioning him for that particular one referee pointing to the judges one point off for that clinch one point deducted from Dubé he needs to be very careful you can't afford to keep losing points there because sometimes it's just a split point that actually separates a whole round back to the fight it goes back to now he's trying to feed off that injury or he's just being a dirty fighter well, I, I think uh, the reverse for me could be true that might not be an injury but Shafiq knows that's his weakness and he constantly goes to that arm so he plays it as much as he can milks it as much as he can for the advantage that way now Dube has to think twice every time he, before he actually goes there I think the bright side to all this is that um, uh, you know Shafiq looks like he's not injured by the whole thing and uh, he's able to continue fighting on uh, clearly the left arm has been such an important key part of his game and suddenly it looks like it continues to be the one that leads the route for him so good stuff well Dube could be in a world of trouble here having a couple of punches going his way goes to the body goes to the head and Dube looked to be in a bit of a problem there the weight of Dube, he uses the weight as a staggering block just to make sure he can buy a few precious seconds to recollect his head, shake off the cobwebs and continue. Once again, it's a big punch here. Well, uh, Dube at this point in time is on the losing side. The weight is not really doing him good. A few other moments right there where you had Shafiq Trinica almost, just almost this close to knocking down the uh, man from Zimbabwe. Uh, some big pressure moments that are coming through from uh, Shafiq Chiwanuka definitely looks like uh, he's making the most of uh, the weakness that uh, Dube is starting to show right now and it's going on an all attack uh, you know um, uh, model right now and clearly for Shafiq all the confidence is swinging his way and Dube looks like uh, a man that could need a bit of help and I'm sure he can't wait for this particular round to come to an end. Once again we see Dube there even when the referee says break up the clinch Still takes a couple of seconds there, leaning on Chiwanuka, knowing he cannot be pulled away. And now he takes up a few punches there, swinging in a combination. Dube says, I don't feel you. And again, into the clinch there. Dube trying to throw overhead punches, and they have to break it up for this particular round. Dube still feels he's in charge. He could go on about how he doesn't feel the, the wrath from Shafiq, but all those are much, are much points. And in as much as you want, he wants to make everyone feel like I'm not feeling all the punches that you know Shafiq is throwing at him. He's got to bear in mind that the judges are carding for Shafiq. And uh, definitely, with every round that gets done, it only gets uh, closer to a win for Shafiq Chiwanuka. So I'm sure for Shafiq right now, he must be thinking, if I can last it out, I do not necessarily need to pick up that knockout. And uh, definitely, he's got the upper hand when it comes to the decision by the points. The baby elephant here took quite a bit of a beating on this particular one here. Question is, round eight, how does he start on that one? Shafiq already back on his feet. Seems to know exactly what he needs in this particular one. Not actually waiting even for round eight to begin. And there you go. Officially sanctioned to go underway. Shafiq coming in for this one. Sends a fair warning once again. And now seems to be getting a bit cautious on this one. Shafiq throws in one, throws in two. Dube closing down the space quickly and holding on. Trying to probably tempt the youngster into those uh, back head punches and probably head guarding. Maybe make him lose a point or two that way, frustrate him. But Shafiq so far seems to be keeping his wits around him, misses wildly there. And again into the clinch. I feel like in all the punches that Shafiq has thrown tonight, he hasn't really utilized the uppercut. I mean, we know how fast his uh, right hook can be. And for Dube tonight, he's been relying on his weight, but the weight hasn't really paid off. He's been relying on, um, you know, waiting for Shafiq to make one, one error. Hasn't been the case. And he's only, what, remaining with two rounds to, to actually make it right. But as it stands, I feel like Shafiq is actually winning this bout. It's actually four rounds to go because they are running on 12 in this particular one here. And he throws out there. Given the fact that it's a world, uh, that is a, an African championship fight, they go 12 and he lands him flush there. Not exactly with full force, but yes, the first time we're actually seeing the left hook finding the jaw of Dube, the baby elephant. 
That's a, a, a swing and uh, a hit from uh, Shafiq. Quite the big left hand he's got in there. And every time he's, uh, you know, aimed his uh, left hand, he certainly come up with some big points. And I think uh, that will definitely go a long way. That is if it lasts all the rounds and it gets into a point decision. But so far, uh, for Shafiq, uh, certainly some big punches he's been able to land for himself. Second warning there from the referee for sustained clinching from Dube. And Shafiq has to be careful, do not fall into the trap. And there you see Dube, that's exactly what he was looking for. That's exactly what he was looking for. Sustained clinching forced the frustration in Shafiq to actually have to guard him with the head. And he gets the break that he was looking for. Shafiq shouldn't fall for the mind game. Well, tell that to Matarazzi a couple of years ago when Zizou actually headbutted him and that cost him the World Cup, cost him his reputation and his legacy. But that being said, Shafiq tonight can't afford to give away what he has worked so hard for the last couple of months. And tonight, such moments will be very crucial. And once again, Dube clinching on. Referee already warned him there. About sustained clinching, he's on his second warning. Now goes head hunting. Shafiq goes head hunting. Finally, just wrestles him down because the clinching is too much. Was too much. The baby elephant not releasing. I'm not sure if that will be counted as a knockdown. Well, for the fans, they don't care whether it comes with points or not. The most important thing is that they've seen Dube kissing the canvas, and for them, that is a sight to behold, something that uh, they'll carry away from this particular round eight. Well, the last time someone big as Dube fell down, the ring collapsed as well. That was in the WrestleMania uh, big show. He went down and bang, the entire ring was on the ground. But um, looking at Dube go on the ground, I think it is a sign that Shafiq Tuanuka is this close from clinching the WBF. Interesting. Uh, the round girls here are now really having a blast with this one. The adrenaline also filtering all the way to them. But more importantly, we get to round nine. That means three rounds left. It's time to let them fly. He calls them his blades, Ebiambi. I think it's about time to begin to swing them. Let them fly, especially that left hook. It's about time. You've actually noticed Dupe is getting weaker. And there you could see Butchanan as well, now coming in to give instructions as well. It's time to let it fly. He's, allowed to, I mean, he's a money maker, not like a tactician when it comes to boxing. But anyway, it is boxing for you. Anything can fall for. But as far as now Shafiq is concerned, how well does he approach his next three rounds? He's got to be very careful with the mind games. We've seen how Dube, dirty he can be. And also the fans coming out, you know, to root for him. I think it's now uh, the home stretch. We are down to the final bend, and uh, clearly, by the look of things, anything goes, especially for Dube. Uh, he knows he'll probably be looking for that killer knockout that will see him uh, more or less get to seal it off. Does that get to come for him? I think Shafiq has been quite aware over the course of uh, the opening uh, eight rounds, like we've seen so far. And certainly for Shafiq, he knows that he needs to keep pushing, and who knows uh, that knockout that might come done. for him. Well, starts off in a bit of an aggressive pace. They are going to the body, going to the head, looking for all spaces. They are teasing the baby elephant out. Shafiq goes in with a hard straight. And again, Dube holds on to the arm. It's already costed him a point. It's already costed him a point. Finally, let's loose, and the referee goes on to warn him and tell him, look, contain, sustained clinching there will definitely cost you more points there. Break it up as soon as I say break it up. And now trying to go to break down the guard. Dube says he didn't come through. Throws in the jab. A bit cocky here now from the youngster. Goes to the body, goes to the head. Good patterns there from Chiwanuka, but he is firing off single shots. Get into the combination. Well, I'll tell you what, that combination will come with octopus hands. I mean, if you can mind the midsection, be very aware about the head as well, because that's where the points come from. Can we get a knockout? Can you get a knock? I think we can, given the fact that those combinations are finally starting to click. For Shafiq Chuanuka. I think, I think um, Dube has taken a lot of beating today, but even then it doesn't look like he's wavering, it doesn't look like he's letting down, and you've got handy to Shafiq as well. For a young you know, boxer that he happens to be, and for the kind of uh, inexperience he came into this bout with, he's uh, definitely proven that he can go the distance, he can last all the way. And seeing as it's now into round, now, uh, round nine, and he's not even slowing down, for me, uh, that should be actually kudos to the youngster that is Shafiq Chuanuka. Well, if it goes to the scorecards here, 
He will definitely hope those punches that he has been landing flush come to count. Uh, sorry, that is full come to count. But again, Dube with the clinch and he sustains it, holding into it. Referee breaks them up. Remember, with his weight holding on, with his weight holding on to Chiwanuka, as the referee calls for a timeout here, there needs to be a bit of straightening up on his gloves there. With his weight put on Chiwanuka, it's added weight. He's putting more. I don't know, working more the body of Chiwanuka, making it carry weight that's not supposed to be carrying at this time. Well, Andy Ruiz was very wise to go out and try to go on his strict diet and lose some pounds before his rematch with AJ. But that being said, um, Dube knows that the weight sometimes can be an advantage and sometimes it can be an adva a disadvantage. Right now, it's being a minus for him. Can Shafiq Chiwanuka feed off that? I think he's already doing that, going into the latter stage of this particular fight. Well, trying to get his glove worked out there and he's trying to urge his team to hurry up there. And as you can see, Honorable Minister... He's on his feet filming this. Yeah, <laughs> streaming live. Well, it's ICT, what do you expect? And Shafiq goes in there, quick punches there, throws in two combinations there. And once again, teasing and taunting. And most of his punches are going full on the head over... That is Dube. One thing we must acknowledge, Dube really has a very strong chin. The fact that he's constantly taking in these punches here and he's still on his feet. Speaking of uh, acknowledging, again, credit should go to the coaching team that uh, Shafiq has been working with. I remember having covered his uh, second professional bout against Tyson Mbikai. And uh, certainly his technique has improved. But that being said, though, he just went down. Uh, he it? goes to the ground, uh, but he'll be hoping that doesn't come back to haunt him. But again, he's looking like a better boxer altogether. He's grown in leaps and bounds, and uh, definitely his technique has gotten better. Dube senses that doubt could be creeping in Shafiq's mind and this could be the chance to actually put the youngster down. Dube saying hey, hey, hey. I tell you what, I think this is the first time in this particular bout that Shafiq has gone down in a way. Mentally, how does he recover from that? And you could see the signal from uh, Dube that hey, listen, you might go out and, you know, throw the punches, but I have this I know what it's like to play to fight at this stage. You don't. You're just a new boy um, in the hood. But um, uh, for Shafiq, I think it's given us something to go about, home, something to share about, something to be proud of. Despite the results tonight, um, Shafiq should feel proud about his achievement against a giant in Tantanga Dube. Well, three more rounds to go. Round 10, round 11, and uh, round 12 as well. And um, interestingly, back home in uh, Zimbabwe, uh, you know, Dube is known as the Black Mamba. And uh, we wait to see if the Mamba can actually come back and bite here in these uh, remaining rounds. Well, that's a bit confusing. The judge seemed to have just said 10th and last round. We were told there would be 12 rounds, so a bit peculiar. That has been a night of confusion. I mean, fast with... Uh Fights not, you know, fighters not showing up, then making U turns, different names. So this will come no surprise. All right, well, Dube getting in a bit strong, but if I'm not mistaken, it looks like his right eye there is beginning to, uh, left eye is beginning to close up a bit. Shafiq might want to actually head hunt on that one. Dube swinging wildly, missing here, using his arms there to block out many of the punches there. For Dube, they seem to be telling him the instruction is now go in swinging hard. You have already put a bit of doubt in this youngster's mind, exploit it. For Shafiq, the question is, can you settle down? Can you get back to realizing this is the killing machine stomping ground? This is where you have to have a cool head, a calm head, a calm mind, um, self-belief as well. Uh, confidence obviously has been playing in, you know, playing right from the first, first round, but the cool head right now will be Shafiq Chuanuka is winning, you know, X Factor. And uh, just a couple of moments away from uh, finding out the winner of the WBF Africa heavyweight title. What a big win it would be if uh, the youngster Shafiq Chuanuka was able to pick up this one here uh, in only his uh, third professional bout. I think for me that would set the bar going forward for him as a fighter. Referee separates the clinch. Comes in again. Dube doubling up there on his jab. Landed one in there. Doubles it up again. Seems to be the pattern now. Double the jab. Seems to have the durability to keep going. And Dube was disagreeing with Shafiq. Showboating. Catches him. Flash one. Flash two. Twice the jab gets to him. Tries to go in with the straight there. Misses out. 
I, I like the confidence that Shafiq has right now, especially at this stage in this bout. He's grown into confidence, and uh, that one moment right there when Dubit thought maybe it's just a show off, he landed himself uh, with one punch in his face. Shafiq showing he still got the gas in there. Uh, he goes all out there and uh, certainly a big left hand. And uh, for Dube, he must uh, clearly be feeling it. But uh, nonetheless, it looks like uh, they've started to go for all the rounds. And uh, by the look of things, it should be a decision by the judges in terms of uh, the points. Good technique there from Shafiq. Goes for the hook, but this time it goes to the body rather than the head. Where he's certain Dube has actually, and now he goes in. And it gets clinched there, quickly wearing down the speed. Clearly Dube using his weight to pin down Shafiq there. They are at it again, Shafiq. Teasing, taunting. Dube, his movement there still shows he's quite durable and quite able to go. And it looks like it actually 10 rounds. Contra okay, that's weird. Dube seems to be already congratulating himself. We see the 11th round. Poster card coming in. Okay, I think we need to get this sorted out right now. Just like no, uh, Nick Nobaru, we did say earlier on, confusion galore it has been. So, Dube thinks it's 10 rounds. He's jumping and congratulating himself. If I had the judge right, he said 10th and final round. We were told 12 rounds. And fortunately, it wasn't us who misheard it. Well, there you see round 11 being passed around by the rounds girl. So where does this go? Interestingly for Shafiq, it looks like uh, he's got grips of what is happening because right after the end of uh, the 10th round, you could see him moving into his corner and he knew that there was still a, lot, a little bit more to come. So for Shafiq, it looks like he's kept the cool head, but also he's in tabs and uh, with grips what precisely is happening right now. Clearly looks like Shafiq was not aware that there would be 10 rounds and is now complaining to the referee. Clearly his side were not aware. Seems to be confusion galore here. But Dube, his gloves are already off and now awaits the decision. Could be quite the contrary, especially if you were pacing yourself waiting for the final two rounds and they're not going to appear. Well, I'll tell you what, regardless of the outcome, regardless of what the judges say, I think for me, I must feel proud of what Shafiq has displayed tonight. I must feel proud of what the kind of boxing, the maturity uh, of boxing that he has displayed tonight. I think we all question the last two bouts. Tonight, for me, he has managed to shush all his critics. Definitely. Uh, he's shown a lot of maturity. Um, he's shown a lot of composure, he's shown a lot of confidence and character as well. And like you said, if there's anyone that has ever doubted uh, Shafiq Chuanukan, precisely what he could bring to the table. For me, uh, tonight has been the night that he offici officially breaks the ice, uh, the night that he officially introduces himself to the world, and he says, this is me, and this is precisely what I made of uh, Shafiq Chuanukan. Well, they go all the way, 10 rounds, and who takes the blue african championship belt home is what we find out in a few minutes shafiq giving a pretty good account of himself by all counts and uh in my mind i have no doubt he definitely won this one but i don't think dube would be off if he demanded uh, uh that is a rematch in my mind that's just how i'm speculating it out here we'll definitely have to wait until it goes down the judges scorecard but in my mind I think Shafiq has this one in the bag and should be crowned tonight the African boxing champion there as uh, the guest of honor Minister Frank Tumweba said there giving him a quick hug there for flying the nation's flag quite high anytime now ladies and gentlemen we go down to the official ring announcer to give us the final results and declare who becomes the African heavyweight champion of the WBF and definitely regardless of uh, the results from uh, the judges regardless of uh, who comes out as the overall winner uh, for so many out there Shafiq has uh, put up a very interesting bout and he's put up a big big challenge against a much more older a much more experienced opponent we go down to the ring announcer Fantastic show.
time. Yes. This has been a bow between from Blawayo, Zimbabwe. Yes, Resident Director IUEA, Mr. Sanyari, John Day, Honorable Minister, as we mark the closure of our journey to World Championship free. Yes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this bout has been supervised by WBF. Yes, as I've been telling you, the fight has been despised by WBF president himself, Howard Goldberg. He had the results for Super Heavyweight title, WBF Africa Championship. Judge one scores for Red Corner, 99. And 90 to blue corner. Judge two scored 100 to red corner and 89 to the blue corner. Judge three scored 100 for the red corner and 89 to the blue corner. Ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, we mark our Janet World Championship free here at IUEA by unanimous decision. The winner and new WBF Africa Evo champion is is. The man himself, Shafiq, <laughs> killing machine to Wanuko! And it's a red light showing danger, and the romantic display boy in the book has praised your quiet. Well, there you have it right there on your screens. It's official and disputed champion right now. The journey to the pinnacle of the heavyweight mountain is officially on. Shafiq Killing Machine Chiwanuka, Africa champion. And there you see sportsmanship there from Dubai congratulating the champion in Shafiq Killing Machine Chiwanuka. Quite the fight has displayed, and arguably for me, and his strap. Well, for starters, I'm ready to, you know, take a piece of the lion's share because uh, I told Brian, I told Shafiq, if this comes out well for you, I'm coming for that after party. It's been the long-awaited title shot for Shafiq Chiwanuka, and I think it is up to the credit. Tonight, he disproved everything and everyone who doubted him. That being said, um, you know, thumbs up to Coach Salwa. They spent so many nights on the streets of Katwe, coming out, you know, with Abin TV, Vision Group. And whatever we do, it comes with a blessing. So I must say, thumbs up for Shafiq Chuanuka. Definitely, at the age of uh, 23, the new African uh, WBF heavyweight uh, champion. And again, 
uh, for Shafiq, this opens up uh, so many doors of opportunities. He's got such an incredible career ahead of him. So many opportunities will be coming his way. And uh, definitely out here at Witness the Bout, the WBF president across the globe, Holberg, that is uh, Holland. And uh, he'll be going home thinking Uganda has got a big talent here. And uh, for Shafiq, what a win. This is a night that he'll look back on years uh, from today. And he'll be thinking that he went on to make history with a big win for himself. Easy to get there. Question now becomes, now you have a target on your back. You're the African champion. Everybody's going to come gunning for you. Can he take it to the next stage and seek for an intercontinental title shot? And then maybe head on to the next round. Brilliant fight from Shafiq, evolving from a brawler to an actual intelligent puncher. Big credits like Nick did say to coach Abdul Tebazalwa for making him get all the way there. We did see his interview and told him, this is your time, it is now. I have told Shafiq, I've told his sisters, he needs to focus, he needs to concentrate. This is his time and by God, Shafiq has not let down his coach, the nation and everybody out here. Well, before we start thinking about, you know, what next for him and uh, that Intercontinental Championship title belt, we've got to let him stomach what he has achieved here tonight. And then maybe thereafter, we can think about what next in terms of his ladder growth, in terms of his boxing, because, again, I still want to believe that he can still give us more. From what we've seen here tonight is a young man oozing with confidence, hungering for more, and um, a couple of areas where, I, that, you know, to where you went to question fight him, fight is it really, you know, um, uh, the right, in the right state of mind to actually come out and win this, but so far we can appreciate what he has achieved here today, and for us it's a good night, it's a rough. Well, let's cross over down to the ring and actually get to hear from Shafiq. The killing machine is to say one. Never say never fail, student. Are you here? We made it, guys. Fuck, we made it. I thank Mr. Alwi, the director. Are you here, Madam Fatum, marketing director? Big strike. And my promoter, Manuel Mesigua, secretary manager, Patricia Magala. Thank you, thank you, media fraternity. We love you. We love you. Okay, he's taking a photo moment here. He's taking a photo moment from the president. The media still wants some interviews. Yes, question. Question. Let's killing machine. my coach, killing machine. We still winning more. We gonna win more. Okay, okay, okay. DJ, DJ, can I have music? Chafra interview. Thank you, DJ. Thank you, DJ. All fighters, please. All fighters, please report this side. Those who have fought today, please report this side. All boxers that have, please report this side. All fighters, please. We want to thank Urban TV. We want to thank our sponsors. Thank you so much for this wonderful coverage. Shafiq Shwanuka has finally made it. Yes, coach. Coach Angus Tabakzarwa. Coach. Right. Well, there you have it. Success it was for Shafiq. Officially crowned now and tomorrow, many will wake up to the news that he is the African heavyweight champion. We have to leave it at this, ladies and gentlemen, very early hours of the morning. It's going to be a party for those that are in the camp of Shafiq. And as Nick did say, he's definitely going to go for his share of that one. But from us down here, that is at the IUEA campus where the fight was actually taking place. My name is Jermaine. That is uh, Brana Simwe. And just one more. Hamti Damti had a great fall. <laughs> and Nick, uh, Nick Nobat Rububi, as well as the rest of the production team. It's a good night. Good morning, and have yourselves a wonderful night. Back to you at Broadcast House. From here, Urban TV starts here.